Close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. As for anything else that comes into the mind, just let it go. You have no other responsibilities right now. Let the mind take care of itself for, for the time being. We spend our lives looking after all kinds of other things. The mind gets worn out that way, but it doesn't have a chance to rest and be by itself. And we sleep in the course of the day, but it doesn't really develop the strength the same way that meditation can. Because with meditation, you're not just resting, but you're also protecting the mind from going outside, protecting things outside from coming in. And that requires mindfulness, it requires alertness, it requires that you put in an effort. All of these things are good qualities to develop. I mean, you can fall asleep without any of those qualities. They don't get developed. But when you're resting with those qualities, the mind becomes stronger. And then after it's rested, then it can go out and deal much more effectively with things. Or you can compare it to sharpening a knife. If you just keep using the knife and cut, 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 after a while the knife gets dull. And as it gets dull, you have to use more strength and more strength and more strength, and the, the results get less and less. But if you take the knife, sharpen it, then next time you have to cut through something, one cut and it's cut right through. You can see things a lot more clearly after the mind has been rested, after it's developed these, these strengths inside. So it takes some time to look after your mind every day. It's your number one possession. We brush our teeth every day. We wash our face every day. We should look after the mind every day, too. In fact, the mind should have top priority, because this is your most valuable possession in here. At some point you're going to have to leave the body, but the mind will still be there. You want to make sure that you've strengthened it with good qualities, because as the body grows weaker, the mind's going to need more and more strength to deal with whatever comes up. So strengthen it now while you have the chance. And you strengthen it, unlike the body. Though the body, you strengthen it by exercising. Well, here you exercise your mindfulness and alertness, but you also rest at the same time. When you look after the mind, then the mind will look after you. and to be able to handle its responsibilities a lot more effectively, with a lot more skill. <laughs>